Are you tired of dribble gods eating your asshole out? Are you tired of your cheeks hitting the pavement time and time again? Are you tired of your knees scraping up against the asphalt? Are you tired of getting your ankles snatched up from your shoes? Well, this video will help you guys not only stay on your feet, but clamp down those so-called dribble gods. <laughs> Yo, before we even get into this video, make sure you guys be a part of the notification gang so you be the first to know when I drop that hot fire. Like I said, hit that notifications up so you can be the first to know. Shout out to my nation, that's the Pack Nation. Shout out to the gang, that's Gang Gang FDG. And also shout out to my notification gang. Now you guys all read the title. Today, you guys are trying to learn how to become a lockdown defender without being a lockdown defender. Now, I know a lot of you guys are tired of getting your ankles snatched up by these so-called dribble gods. And today, I'm about to help you guys out. Now, I did have a poll on Twitter. And this is the video that won. So, here is your video, guys. Let's get into the tips. Tip number one. Change your settings. So, guys, what you want to do is you want to make sure you go to your options when you're either at the park or your my court whatever you want to make sure you go to your options and go to your controller settings because there are settings on your controller settings that you need to change or refine a little bit all right now we all know that when it comes to falling down most of the time it's the computer or it's the game that makes you fall like oh yeah 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 he got me Sometimes it don't make no sense. I know sometimes I be looking down at my phone or something, look back up, my man's butt cheeks are kissing the ground. That's just life. This is life of 2K. But I'm going to show you how to make it less possible, okay? So this can help. So what you want to do is go to your controller settings, go down to where it says defensive strength. You're going to look at defensive strength, automatic shot contest. These are the two keys right here. Now, a lot of people say put your defense assist strength down to zero. I haven't heard people say put it up to 100. The reason why you don't want to put it down to zero or 100 is because, well, let me, let me say this first. The reason why you don't want to put it down to zero is because you still want the computer to help you out a little bit on defense. Because the computer is what gives you that bump animation when people are trying to drive past you. He just hop right back in front. That's what you want. Now, if you put it on 100, you're going to have too much of the computer helping you out where this will cause you to fall 10 times more, bro. I already did it. Trust me. I tested out. I already know. So what I say is that you're going to want to keep it on at least about 5 to about 20. No more than 25. All right. You can do anything less than 25 except for keep it above zero. That. Now, this is another key. Um, who to guard? Make sure your Huda guard is off. Like, you know how sometimes when you, uh, your friend get beat, you try to step up and it pulls you back? This is why. Make sure your Huda guard is off. During the game, you may have to ask your teammates, like, yo, who's my man? That's fine. That's more communication. More communication on defense, the better. All right, and then the automatic shot contest. Now, a lot of people say you should do it on intense D or even, I seen somebody even say put it on always. Now, I would say, I would suggest, if you're an expert, put it on manual because that means you will know when to contest a shot, when you don't have to. This will stop with a lot of that draw foul animation where somebody's driving to the lane and you put your hands up or holding L2 and he fouls. That's because if you got it on intense D, every time you hold the left trigger or L2, you're in intense D and that's signals to the computer or signals to the game that you want to contest the shot so sometimes he fouls sometimes he puts his hands up all right so 
I would say put it on manual. You will have more control when it comes to stealing the ball, when you want to steal, um, actually jumping when you want to jump. But like I said, if you a novice, bro, if you a noob, if you a come up, if you don't know what defense, if you can't play defense in real life, bro, just leave it on intense D. Tip number two is when these guys are just dribbling and dribbling, stop moving and watch him dance. That's all you got to do, bro, It just stop moving. A lot of you guys find yourself moving way too much. Now, if you move a lot and you're holding L2, that's a guaranteed angle break. You guys need to stop moving. Let them dance. Sometimes these wannabe dribble guys, all they, all they want to do is dribble for it to look good. If you just sit there and just let them dribble, they will dribble out the clock and force up a bad shot. Now, when it comes to these good dribble guys, it's a little different. You have to approach them different, but a lot of these guys are not not good at it. They just they just know how to do the moves, and they just gonna dribble, dribble, dribble until you either fall or to the clock wind down. Now, if you don't want to fall, just sit there and watch him dance. Stop moving. If you're moving, if you're chasing him, you're going to fall. If you're chasing him, you're gonna look stupid. Stop moving. You only move when you're trying to cut him off and that goes straight into tip number three tip number three is meet him at the spot so basically like i just said cut him off you want to meet him at the spot now um basketball just like in real life bro it's about beating people to the spot it's about anticipating people now with this tip you can it can look pretty bad if like you think he's going to the left and you start going to your left and he stops and go to the right okay you may look bad, but you're not gonna fall, all right? You wanna cut these guys off. Let them do all their dances. When they start advancing to the basket, that's when you start moving and you don't want to follow them. You want to beat him to the spot. That's the whole key. If you're following, you're already losing. If you're trailing, you're losing. If you're trying to mirror his stuff, you're losing. If you try to stop his moves, like if you're, if you're trying to anticipate him doing a crossover, you're gonna lose, bro. All you want to do is beat him to the spot. That's it. Beat him to the spot. Your 10% uh, defense assist will kick in. And he would either have to pick up the ball or he would get stuck in animation. That's all you want to do, bro. It's not that hard to play defense. It's really not. So tip number four. This is one of the, the, the major tips, bro. Reach. Hit that square button, bro. When you're facing up guys who can really dribble and who really has IQ, you have to reach. You have to reach. If you don't reach, they're gonna embarrass you. And if you and if um, you don't reach, you're gonna either fall or get scored on. The one way to irritate these guys is reaching. And some I don't want to. I'm not saying spam it. I'm not saying spam it. I'm not saying that. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying reach. What that means, if you think you can get the ball, reach. Hit the square button. But if you're just spamming square, you, you might as well not even listen to this video. You might as well take away the first three tips I already gave you if you're spamming square don't it's not spamming square it's just reaching it's you want to try to swipe at the ball every once in a while because every move not let me not say every move but every dribble guys has a point in their move where you can reach and take the ball right so you want to stand there wait for your opportunity to reach then reach all right if you reach and miss be prepared to meet them at a spot all right now, the last and final tip I can give you guys is don't be afraid to fall. Let's let's be real, bro. We all afraid to fall when it comes to these dribble guys. The moment where you can put in your head like if I fall so what? I'm still trying to win the game. There's plenty of times where my teammates have fell and somebody else stepped up or I fell and uh, somebody had my back or actually I fell and I still made the defensive play. Like it happens. You can't control it. It's not real life. In real life, if you fall, GG, that's on you, bro. <laughs> but in the game where the game controls, where let's not say the game, the computer controls 75% of everything that we do from animations, from jump shots, from layups, from dunks, like, it's nothing we can do. If a dude flicks the stick in the right direction and the computer thinks you should fall, you're going to fall every time, no matter what. But these are five tips that will help you guys stay in front of your man. If you have some more tips, put them down below in the comment section. I would like to hear from you guys. Take these tips out to the park. 
see how they work uh, let me know if they work let me know if they don't work let me know if I should revise this video or whatever if you guys like it you want some more videos like this smack up the like button if you're new to the channel if you're first time watching the video from OG go ahead and subscribe for more content like this and until the next time it's your boy OG and I'm out peace yeah okay 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 demon just got out of the can I gave my bro an advance love is just not in my plans not even taking a chance studio right in my yard I'm doing 10 in a week how long I've been on the street dream about working my sleep okay I got a lock on the streets